Hi, welcome to your monthly zodiac readings. Got them going a little late in July, but better late than never. I'm obviously not at home. I'm working on filming them all from the lake so you get to enjoy the wonderful scenery and the occasional sounds of cars going by on their own. But at least you get to see the lake behind you. This month, it is such a more calm and peaceful month than June. In June, we had a bit of the roller coaster. This month, it's more like going down the lazy river. There's still going to be a little, uh, a few ups and downs, but it's a little smoother sailing thanks to the cancer energy we are in this month. Let's see, speaking of cancer, we have the new moon going into cancer on July 9th, which will prompt us to work on what we want for ourselves and to maybe delve deep into those feelings since it is a new moon in cancer and look at some of those feelings and see where we want those feelings to be and what do we want to feel like. Then at the end of the month we have the full moon on July 23rd and that is a full moon in Aquarius. So that'll kind of shake us up a little bit to make us help us think about how we want to show up in the world, how we want to help others. We do have a cosmic manifesting or magical rectangle coming up this month. I'm still learning a little bit more about that, but it is a great time for manifestation. And I haven't nailed down any of the other astrologers on exactly when that's taking place. I think mid-month. But uh, stay tuned to my Instagram and Facebook channels. The more I find out about it, the more I'll let you know about it. Other than that, it promises to be a pretty great month. So let's dive into your reading. And spoiler alert, your background may change. Hello Scorpio. Welcome to your July reading. How are y'all doing? Hopefully you're having a wonderful July. And I'm filming this on the 4th, so happy 4th of July to you. What's new and exciting in your world? Something to chat about as I'm shuffling. Things going well, things you want to change. Let's see what the cards have to say for you. going on with my Scorpios looking in the going kind of past to present and remember times relative in tarot also take the energies that that feel right for you leave the others usually Scorpios don't have too much problems with that uh, and reverse energies as applies if you're if you're cross watching for someone else and this feels more like you instead of the Scorpio you're watching for, it applies. Tarot has a funny way of doing that. The energy works in mysterious and uh, wonderful ways. So, going from the Four of Cups, kind of looking at things, looking at some losses maybe you've had. And the reason I say that is because then we move into the Five of Pentacles, which is feeling left out, feeling locked out in the cold. That's why I'm wondering what's going on. Moving more into a present position, we get the Page of Pentacles in the current position. Page of Pentacles usually means incoming messages and Pentacles are financial stability, practical matters. When she's up doing a headstand, uh, those messages might not be coming in for you. So we'll look what we can do to change it around, which something tells me you need to go within. Have a little chat with God, Source, Universe, whatever works for you, or even just take that time out. The Hanged Man is talking about going into Hanged Man's Tree to see life from a different perspective. So, maybe that situation, you need to take another look at it. Not such a close-up look, because when you're right here, that's all you can see. Maybe step back and take a broader look at the situation. And into the three of wands which is waiting for those ships to come in you can see the gentleman has got the periscope out and there's one two three
three or four ships out in the water. Those ships are coming in for him. They have those riches, those people, whatever it is that he's waiting for on those ships. So let's do a little clarification. See what some information we can provide for you. And hold my cards down so they don't blow away. Got a little breeze coming up, which is a good thing. It's going to be a little warm today. Okay, we have the past position over the Four of Cups and the Five of Pentacles is the Six of Cups. Is, is this dealing with a person? Cups usually a lot of times are emotions. So that can kind of bring that into the situation. And, but on that page of pentacles, we get the six of wands, which is a victorious response. But you got to let it go because you're worried about being left out again. So if this is a relationship situation, maybe it's time to stop the worrying and actually have that conversation. If it's more of a money situation, Worrying about the money isn't going to make it come in towards you. Okay. Clarifying on that further, we get love life. The basis of your question involves your romantic life, which is now changing for the better. So when I see that with the Six of Cups, somebody from the past on your mind a lot, and even though it says love life, take the energy as it applies. It could be just a relationship as well. Not romantic, but more familial or friendship, something like that, if that's what applies to you. And on that Six of Wands, Five of Pentacles, in a way not to get into that situation, get some exercise. As your body becomes stronger, you begin to feel stronger in all ways. If anything, just move. Take a little walk. If you can't take a walk, move your arms. And even if you can't do that, take some deep breaths. Just fill your lungs with as much air as possible and learn to accept that things are going to be okay. And then get, when you exhale, get rid of all that crappy energy inside. Because you've got wonderful things coming. You have got the blue flame, spontaneous awakening, activation, integration time. All aspects of your life and your emotions are coming together. And I know Scorpios keep deep, deep emotions and don't like things to be on the surface. But those things, all parts of your life are coming together with the blue flame. And now we're going to look a little bit at your energy and how it interacts with either another person's energy or a situation depending on what's going on in your life because we're all a little different i mean remember these are collective readings so it may not all fit for you we're going to look at your energy with that other person situation and then we'll clarify a little bit get some help from the universe see where you're sitting, where they're sitting, or where it's sitting, and uh, what's coming for all of you. On this cut, we get the Hermit and the Empress. Maybe time to go within and embrace your inner Empress. And even if you're male, gender doesn't matter in tarot. So embrace that strong, confident side of yourself. Let's see, what do we have for Scorpio in regards to another person or another situation? Scorpio, 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 what you got going on? For you, we get the Three of Wands, the Moon, and the Emperor. So,
The moon is, in, I mean, is one of your elements of power cards. Now, as you can see, it's even like a little scorpion coming out of the water there. Maybe it's time not to be so steadfast, stubborn is another way to put it. Because I see you waiting for something. What is it you're waiting for? Is it not yet revealed? Which also can be what the moon talks about. For the other person or situation, I get strength, king of cups, and eight of cups. You see this is a very strong and loving person. Are you worried they're moving away? Or are you worried the situation is going away from you? It's kind of what that's looking like. And in the combined energy, I get temperance. Things are coming. The old divine timing working in there. Um, those of you who know me know I don't really care for divine timing. I'm not real patient, but I'm a Gemini too. Scorpio moon, so I understand the, uh, the depth of a Scorpio. But things are working out for you how they're supposed to. Just relax. They're coming. And I'm going to get a, uh, another oracle card on that. Got my decks piled on top of each other so none of my cards fly away. If you saw my cancer reading, I had a card that zipped across over the ground. What more do we have for Scorpios? Wish upon a star. Make a wish and expect the very best. Time to get your wishes granted, Scorpio. But you gotta make them. No one's gonna make them for you. You gotta do the work. No one's gonna say, oh, here's your wish that you didn't know you were wishing for. So how can you get to something if you don't make that wish? As always, I hope you have a wonderful month. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing to my channel. If you haven't yet, what's stopping you? Please, I could use the likes and the subscriptions. Get us out there to more people so more people can be helped. Um, otherwise, stay tuned for some more of my readings and have an amazing month. Talk to you soon.